you're watching this, and something's already happened to me. Come in. Uh, Detective Loman. Yes. Yes. Can I help you? Yes. Yes. I, I believe. I believe you can. Um, I'm having. I mean, a bit of an issue I, I could use your expertise with. I, well, that's uh, what I'm here for. Uh, uh, just one second. Let me... My name is uh, Sebastian Highwind. Where do I know that name? I am running for mayor next season. Yes, yeah. Yes, um, trying to clean up the city. Uh, sure. Uh, some rival of mine, I believe, is trying to blackmail me, you see. Do you, do you have a name? His or her name? Uh, they, they don't. They don't have a name on it. Um, here, here's a copy of the letter they've been sending me. Um, as you can see, they're asking for a great sum of money. Uh, Two million dollars? Yes. Um, so it's a, it's a, they're wanting uh, wanting that money, or they're going to. Bring forward some things uh, that happened in the past. You? You have those associations? Yes. Uh, yes, I do. With, with the Mafia. Yeah. So this could be somebody from the Mafia? It may be. I don't... As I say, they're not, they're not giving me their name. They're just giving me a drop-off date. The money. See here. You have one week to respond. No cops, the usual. Yes, usual lingo. Okay, I'll have this one for prints. I mean, if you're dealing with professionals, they probably didn't leave any, but I'll see what I can do about this. As you can imagine, I would like to leave the, the cops out of this. Well, of course, that's why you came to me. Precisely. Yeah. Um, so, uh, I believe... Uh, Cousin Elizabeth, she, she, she had some connections with some unsavory fellows. She, she may be involved. I, I don't quite trust her. I think maybe she might be a good place for you to start. Okay, I'll talk to Elizabeth. Uh, in the meantime, I need you to, obviously, lay low. Of course. Let me know if they contact you again. I will immediately. Okay. I'll, uh, I'll see what I can do. Put some feelers out in the ether. We'll be in touch. Great, great. Um, Hopefully I can help you out. Thank you so much for taking this case. Yeah, and uh, good luck on your campaign. Thank you. Thank you. I'll be sure to uh, send more people your way. If this turns out well. Of course. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, Wendy. game with some lovely vapors. Oh, the hell out of here. Yes, I no, I'd like the I'd like your lunch special. Yeah, the, with the extra tofu? Yeah, that would be great. Yeah, could you leave the egg out this time? It it upsets my stomach. Yeah, upsets my stomach. Yeah, thank you. No, I know you don't cater to vegan diets, but yes. All I'm asking you to do is leave the leave the egg off. Really? All right, fine. I'll order from Harry's Pizza. Yeah, screw you too. Come in. Hello. Elizabeth? Yes, Elizabeth Rathmuller. You called me? Yes, uh, Detective Loman? Yes. What do you know about a uh, certain mayoral candidate? Which one? Sebastian, ring a bell? Yes, he's my cousin. Yes. 
Sebastian wanted me to call you and talk to you. Would you happen to know why? No idea. Mm. However, I was going to come in for another reason. My husband, Francis, kept telling me not to come and see you. Francis has been missing for two days. Okay. You may know Francis. He's one of the Cook County Commissioners. Oh, sure. Yes. Francis hasn't been home in two days. That is totally unlike him. Francis? Rathman. When did you last see Francis? Two days ago. He was home for breakfast. He had a cup of coffee, kissed me on the cheek, left like he always does. Haven't seen him since. No one has. No one? Have you alerted the authorities to this? No? I don't think that's a good idea. Okay. Who were Francis' enemies? What was his... Francis has many of the same associates that my cousin has. I really wish you'd look into this. I, I can certainly see what I can do. Um, I need to show you something. This is from your cousin. You wouldn't happen to know why somebody would want two million dollars from him. I don't know where he'd get two million dollars. Short of raiding the family's trust fund. So you've never seen this? No, of uh, course not. Well, perhaps your husband might know something. If we can find him. Will you take the case? I will. Elizabeth, thank you for coming in. Thank you, Detective. Please let me know if you find out anything. You'll hear from me. Two million dollars and a missing person. This is shaping up to be a hell of a day. Yes, operator. Yeah, give me the city morgue. Hello. Hey, John. Yeah, it's Detective Loman. Listen, I need you to... Look up a name for me. Tell me if you got something chilling in the freezer down there. A Francis Rathmiller? Yeah, he's been missing for two days. Now, keep this... Don't... Don't tell anybody. You go check yourself. You do? He came in last night? What kind of state's he in? That bad. Okay. No, I'll be down there in a little bit. Thank you. His whole face is gone. For the price of two, you can have one! Get off my doorstep. I'm busy. Yeah, operator. Yeah, get me the uh, downtown precinct. Thank you. Hi, can I speak with Detective Harold? Harry, how's it going? Yeah, it's Loman. Hey, I've been meaning to ask you. Uh, you remember I called you about uh, Francis Rathmiller? Yeah, he was. Yeah, he was one of the Cook County commissioners. Quick question. Anything else weird going on with any of the other commissioners? Anybody at City Hall? Anybody, I don't know, slip on some banana peels, having an accident in the shower? Really? Yeah. No, she's the one who works with, uh, with Sebastian Highwind. Interesting. Okay. No, I'll give her a call. She might know something. But just that's it? Okay, thank you.
Come in, Mr. Highway. Detective. Please, have a seat. What information do you have for me? Well, first I'd like to know what information you might have for me. Oh? You know a, uh, a Miranda Linklater? Yes, she works with me. She, uh, recently went on vacation. Yes, she did go on a vacation of sorts. I, uh, I think the actual uh, tense you're looking for is worked with. Past tense. What do you, what do you mean? Miranda's dead. She, uh, she caught a little bit of sulfuric acid to the face, courtesy of the... What? Courtesy of the same guys that are now pressuring you. She... You, uh, you asked me to talk to Elizabeth. Yes, yes. What you I assume you? you know her husband, Francis? Yes, yes, we, we play golf together. Again, the word you're looking for is played. Oh, oh my. Yeah, it uh, doesn't stop there. They both snacked on the same sulfuric acid. <sighs> Mr. Highland, this has gone beyond blackmail. Yes. Yeah, yes, this I is, say so. This is, uh... I don't, I don't think two million would even stop this. No, I, I don't think they want your money. I think they want you dead. Dead and gone, or just gone. Oh. I've talked to a well, few people. You're, uh... You didn't just make enemies. I mean, no. you made enemies, but... I, I'd say that as an enemy. Um... I didn't think they would... Take it this far. Sebastian, if I may. Yes, Detective. What are you not telling me? Well, what I meant when I said I was associated with them is I worked with them. I was, I was a hitman. No shit. Yes. Um, and I found some information out on the head, Big Louie, and I got out. Did you work? You, you worked as Big Louie's headband? Yes. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is not funny. This is... You should have told me that the <laughs> you first walked into the office. Oh. I'm Sebastian Highwind. I used to be a hitman. Do you Please don't tell anyone. Mr. Highwind, do you have any idea how deep into this I am? How deep into this we all are now? Detect I did not know it would be this big. I don't, I don't even... even... I'm sniffing around. I don't even know who's I'm... sending those letters precisely. <sighs> Detective. I didn't... We had a deal. I did not... We had a deal when I thought I was dealing with potential future mayor. I yeah. am still. My neck's out there. My neck's out there, and I'm dealing with a former hitman for Big Louie. A former big hitman turned defector. I know what they do to people like you, people who leave. Sulfuric acid to the face. And now I'm your associate. What they do. This is... Well, clearly you need to solve this case, then. <laughs> Otherwise, it's your neck on the line. Clearly, I think I need a one-way ticket the hell out of Chicago. You think that would save you? You think it ends in Chicago? You think they just get to the city limits and stop? What do I do? I don't, I don't deal with hitmen. I, you know, I hunt down cheating husbands or, you know... Uncover scandals of bored wives. I don't, I don't deal with the mafia. You figure like out this. who's writing those letters, and we end this. You have resources. You think I contacted you just? I just picked randomly. I know who you deal with. Okay. You get this done, and we're both over forever. That's that's a nice that's a nice pleasant way of putting it. 
He saw um, this. We will both be wealthy men at the end of this. Well, I just want to live. I just want to live at the end of this. Sebastian, I can't believe you put me in this situation. I have no choice. All right, well, now I have no choice. We'll be in touch. Fine. Let me know when you hear something. You can find the door. Four seven. Hey, Tommy. How's it going? Yeah, it's Loman. Yeah, how you doing, man? Very good, good. How's Cheryl? Sorry to hear that. You know, I always kind of thought she was a bitch. Huh? Yeah. Hey, yeah. No, I got a, I got a question for you. The name, uh, name's Miranda, Miranda Linklater or uh, Francis Rathmiller ring any bells? Yeah, I thought they would. Yeah. They both are in the morgue. Yeah, funny thing is their faces are missing. Something about, uh, some sulfuric acid to the face? Yeah. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? You wouldn't be able to find out anything about that, would you? Listen, Tommy, I already owe you. Put this one on my tab. Just, I don't know, ask around. There's a reason I call you. Okay, let me know. Hey, I, I got one more question for you. You know Sebastian Highwind? Yeah, he used to run some numbers for some of your fellas. Yeah, listen. He's running for mayor. Oh, you knew that. Okay, of course you did. Do you know who's sending him a letter demanding two million dollars? Of course you don't. Of course. Okay. Alright, thanks Tommy. Hey, let me know if you find out anything about uh, this Miranda or Francis. Alright, thanks. Are you in trouble, sir? If you don't get out of here, I'm gonna call the real cops. Oh! You called? Yes, please. I am so sorry. No, no I'm not disturbing you. You're fine. Thank you. You're a little early? Uh, yes, I, I was on my way to the club. Oh. Hmm. The club? Yes, I have a standing bridge date there. Oh, couldn't couldn't break a bridge date for funeral arrangements. So. Those are being made by others. Oh, of course. But not. thank you so much for your service. I was going to tell you, if you would, please just contact Martin Halstead at Halstead in Belmont. He'll take care of your fee. Uh, okay. There's. You don't want to know why your husband. Do you know that? I, I could find out. I, you just... You don't want to know why your husband happened to be covered in sulfuric acid? <laughs> well... Fine, if you find out something about that, I'll add more. Uh, meanwhile, though, if you don't have any more to tell me, I've got an appointment at the club. By all means. Uh, thank you so much for your help. And, oh, uh, by the way, your name has come up several times at the club. Be careful. Yes. Eight seven oh, please. Hey, it's Loman. Yeah, I need you to put a tail on someone for me. Yeah, I mean you're not if, if you're not too busy. Yeah. An Elizabeth Rathmiller? Yeah, do me a favor. Just uh, follow her around for the next couple of days. See where she goes. 
Okay, thanks a lot. Please have a seat. Shit's gotten worse. I'm getting out. Where are you gonna go? You're the one who told me there's no place to go. Maybe I'll, I think we should both leave. I think you need to get the hell out. I'm getting the fuck out. I had to kill a man just to get here. Jesus Christ, don't... I don't want to know. I don't want to know. I, I don't want to know any of this. I didn't want to know that you worked for the mob. I don't want to know you. I didn't want it to get this deep either. I didn't know. I'm so fucked. This is your fault. You brought this on me. Thought I was clear. You thought you were clear. You had to run for mayor. You know, most people... I wanted to repent. When most people get out of the mob, they leave. They go somewhere else. They don't stick around and throw it in their faces. They don't drag other innocent people, and two people are dead. And there's going to be a couple more dead. Damn it, Highwind. If that's even your name... Does it matter what my name is at this point? No. We're both dead men. You realize this. You're a dead man. You're a dead man. I am a dead man. With any luck? But I came here to warn you. You're gonna warn me? <laughs> I don't need warning, I need saving. You should have come here with a fucking plan. You should tell me what I already know. Get the hell out. Yeah, that seems to be the idea. Speaking of which, I think you need to get the hell out. I win. What? Don't tell me when you were here. I'm not that big of an asshole. Take a back road. Hello, Mr. Long. Hey, look, pal. It... Oh. 